Hey YouTube, in this video, I'm going to be installing a Kryptonite Cam Bolt Kit. This kit comes with the four bolts and nuts, and these plates here, all eight of them. These little guys are extra. Chances are pretty good if you are working on an older truck or something that is rusty in the salt, just order them. They're super cheap. Last thing you need to do is go to put all these plates in and the factory rivets in the frame pop out. Once they come out, you can't put them back in. So I'll also be installing these. Some of the tools you're gonna need, pretty simple. 13 16 wrench and socket and a floor jack and an axle stand. You can do this with the tire on. I will be taking it off, just gives it a little bit more room inside the fender. Over here at the truck that I'm going to be installing it on, you can see that my truck does not like to stay in alignment. I've only had these tires on for 10,000 clicks and the fronts need to be replaced. So this is where the bolt is. Goes through. We're gonna be pulling these out and replacing these plates here. And if you can see this little rivet, these are actually in the frame. You just hit them with a hammer, they pop right out. That new little piece will pop in that same spot. And that's about it. So let's get started by taking off this front tire. Now that I have the tire off, I am going to start by removing this nut and bolt. And I will be replacing one at a time. So I will remove this one these plates, the small rivets, put everything back together, and then I will tackle the next one. I do not want to completely remove this upper control arm. If you are replacing the upper control arms, by all means, you have to do both at the same time. But I'm going to be doing one at a time. So just to give you a quick rundown on how these bolts work, I do already have the nut off on this side, along with the plate. But, if I were to take my wrench and go up and down with this bolt, you can see how the upper control arm is moving. That is setting your camber and caster. And that's it. So this is the original factory bolt. This plate was not factory. I actually put this plate on when I redid my upper control arms, I guess last winter. But these bolts, you can see, they're tired, they're rusty, time for them to go. For the removal of these little rivets to help hold the vehicle in alignment, all you do, give them a nice tap of the hammer. And there it is. There goes the second one. Now I'm just going to install all the new hardware.
for these alignment pins, this would be the back side of it. This is inside the frame. This is the front side that actually holds the alignment key in position. On these older trucks, when you replace these bolts and these plates, sometimes these pop out. Once they come out, these original ones are no longer any good. So you can buy replacements. They just get pressed in, but being in a very tight spot in your upper control arm, it might be a little difficult to do it on your own because you can't get a hammer in there to swing and you don't want to miss and bend this ring that's around the outside because then it won't sit and seat properly. So what I have done, I took a bolt that was almost the exact width with the nut and took two wrenches and threaded it to press it through the hole. I'm going to remove this, repeat the process, and put in the next side, which will come out like this. So over here, I have the next pin just sitting there. I'm going to take my bolt and nut, Two wrenches. And there we go. Both are pressed in and seated perfect. So on the kryptonite ones, you'll see this side has a bunch of dimples on it. This side has almost little notches, roughly every quarter inch. That is the side you want out. So it'll, the bolt will go always in the direction you took them out and it'll look like that. So this is how it will roughly look. I'm going to snug this nut up just to hold so the plates aren't moving. I will do this full one completely. And then I will roughly align the front end before completely snugging these down. Now, if you were replacing these and the truck was already aligned, I would have marked where this little pin is on here, and I would have matched it. But because my truck was so terribly out of alignment, as you can see by that front tire, and the fact that it's standing up on its own like that, There is no point me matching what was here existing. So now you can see I have both sides done. I'm going to go over to the other side, switch out all those pins and bolts, 
and then I'm going to throw my front tires back on and give this a quick rough alignment. At least I will be able to drive it down the road safely. So here we are on the passenger side. I already have the wheel off. I just wanted to show you this little bolt that I have here. When I was replacing my upper control arms, the little rivets that I was replacing on the other side, they had already popped out. So for a temporary fix, which turned into an entire year of driving, I just took a small little bolt and put a lock nut on each end. I actually had to do it twice. It holds, it works. Did I have any problems? No. But now that I have the proper parts, I'm going to replace it and do it properly. Just got finished up on the passenger side. Everything is snug, but is not tight so that I can adjust these and get it close to aligned. To give you a comparison, these are the pins that I have pressed in. This was the old bolt that I had to hold temporarily. It actually, I don't know if you can see, it chewed the threads up pretty good for not very many kilometers that I put on this this year. So definitely be careful if this is what you are using. Only use it for temporary use. And this is the old one that came with the upper control arm. I'm not using these again because I didn't really like how the setup was. How this is completely circle with no flat key when the bolt, it's very hard to tell, but the top of that bolt is flat. That's why I'm not using these again. There are some brands out there that have the flat spot with these preset or pre-drilled holes, but the kryptonite ones, I use the entire set. So now I'm gonna throw the wheels on and It'll probably be, be a separate video for the alignment. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.